Okay, today we're going to be talking about percents. And we're going to learn the methods of solving percents using proportions. But first, let's go ahead and review what proportions are. A proportion is an equation that says that two or more ratios are equal. Now, we worked on proportions uh, earlier in the semester, and we're going to use them. And so remember, with proportions, we use cross products to determine that the two ratios form a proportion. If the two cross products were equal, then the ratios were equal. And so if they were not equal, the cross products, then the two ratios or fractions were are not equal. So we're going to be using a special type of proportion you call the part over the whole to solve our percent problems. And usually the part is associated with the word is, and while the whole is associated with the word of. So a lot of teachers say is over of, but it's the part or the whole, and the whole is sometimes the original amount. And that is gonna be equal to your percent. Now, we hardly ever use it that way in our class, but we're gonna go ahead and use it in a different way because a percent is a number over 100. Yes, I said over. We're gonna use it as the part over whole equals some value over 100. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we got a problem. What number is 250% of 38? And so we're gonna use the part over whole is gonna be equal to a number over 100. And so the 250% is gonna be our percent and the 250 is gonna represent the X while the 100 is gonna be the denominator because a percent is a number compared to 100. Then we're gonna set up our other ratio using is over of. And if you see the word of, we got the value 38. Well, the of is gonna be our whole, our original value, because we wanna know what number is a percent of 38. So that's gonna be the original number, which we refer to as the whole. While the number that is the part is the value that we're trying to find out. So we set up a proportion, and what we do is we use cross products. 100x is gonna be equal to 9,500 because 38 times 250 is 9,500. We have an equation we want to solve for x. We need to undo multiplying by 100 by dividing both sides by 100. And we end up with x equals 95. And so the number that is 250% of 38 is 95. Now, is our answer reasonable? Well, 250 is over 100%. And so you know the number is supposed to be greater than 38. And this is one problem where the part is actually greater than the whole. Let's try another problem. What number is 25% of 340? Now we know 25% is 1 fourth, and so we wanna know 1 fourth of 340, but we're gonna use a proportion to solve this percent problem. So let's go ahead and we know our percent, so we're gonna set that value over 100, and we're gonna use the of, is over of, the of is 340, and the is is the value that we're trying to figure out. We set up our proportions, we cross multiplied, 100 times x is 100x, 340 times 25 is 8,500. Now we have an equation and we solve for x. We're gonna divide both sides by 100 to undo multiplying x by 100, and we end up with x equals 85. And so 85, is it approximately 1 fourth of 340? Well, I cannot do that in my head, but we do have a reasonable answer. Let's go ahead and try a different type of problem. Here we have 30% of what number is 45? We know our percent, set up that ratio, 30% means 30 per 100. And here we got the of what number? So the is over of, the part over the whole, we don't know what the whole is. And so we're gonna set that up as x. And the is, which is the part, is gonna be 45. So now we set up our proportion, 30 to 100 is equal to the 45 to x. We cross multiply, we end up with 30x equals 4,500. And again, we have an equation we solve for x. We need to divide both sides by 30. And we end up with x equals 150. Now let's try another problem. Here we have 40% of what number is 31. We're gonna set up our proportion where the percent is equal to the part over the whole. The percent is 40%, which is 40 per 100. And then we're gonna use is over of. Our is is 31, so that's our part. And our whole number is gonna be the x value because of what number is 31 a percentage of? 
And so we set up our ratios, our proportion, we cross multiply. We end up 3100x equals 40x. We need to undo multiplying by 40 by dividing both sides by 40. And we end up with x equals 77 and 5 tenths. And so our final answer is 77 and 5 tenths because 40% of 77 and 5 tenths is going to be 31. And again, is our answer reasonable? Well, 40% is almost half, is 31 almost half of 77? Well, it's not exactly, but it's close enough for our example. Now, let's try a problem where you're trying to figure out the percent. Now, this one's going to get a little bit trickier because some kids get confused. But let's go ahead and get started. Since we want to know what percent, we're going to set that equal to x hundred because what percent is x per hundred? And then we're going to use our part over whole, our is over the of, our is is 30, so that's going to go on the numerator, and our whole is 15, which is represented by the word of. We set up our proportions, and now we cross multiply. We have 15x equals 3,000. We need to undo multiplying x by 15 by dividing by 15, and we end up with x equals 200. Now, our answer is not going to be 200 because we are asking for the percent. And so if you look for the percent, it's going to be 200% because that X is a value that's going to go over the 100 in the original proportion. And a lot of kids just put 200. It is not 200, it's 200%. Let's try another problem where you have to figure out the percent. What percent of 100 is 25? So the percent is what we're trying to figure out, so that's going to be X percent. What percent? We're going to use the part over the whole. The part is the is, which is 25. The of is 100. And so we want to know what percent of 100 is 25. We set up our proportion. We cross multiply. We end up with 100X equals 2500X. Undo multiplying by 100 by dividing by 100. And we end up with X equals 25. But again, since we're asking for the percent, the answer is not 25. The correct answer is going to be 25%. So this is our first look at uh, proportions and percents. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me during class. Thanks for watching.